Hi Scorpio, this is Terribly Accurate. If you're new, thank you for tuning in. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. And I really appreciate all of the likes that you put on these videos, that you share them with your friends, that you subscribe to see them when they come out. Mm. Excuse me. So um, about that, I've been putting out three or four videos for each sign every month. Um, but now that it's a lot of work, you know, because there's 12 signs. So that's what is that, like 48 videos a month? So now I'm going to keep doing the general readings here on YouTube and also the um, love readings because those are really important for people and the whole point of me doing these is to give you guidance and kind of, you know, affirm what you know with your gut instincts so you can have the confidence to make better choices and, you know, live your destiny in, in the right path for you. Um, so I'm going to keep doing those. But the ones in between, you know, like sometimes like the Maslow's Pyramid readings, the Stop Drop Roll readings, Angel readings, things like that, I'm moving all of those over to Patreon. So um, if you like those, uh, that's where you'll find them. And if you don't give a crap about those, whatever. These are still here. <laughs> okay. So um, before we get started with your general reading, um, two cards flipped out, and we'll get to those in a second, but I just wanted to say a general reading is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, and it's for September 3rd through October 3rd, and then um, it's going to cover, you know, your career, your home life, family, close friendships, um, love, and that would be for singles and couples. So, first thing, some of you are feeling a little bit hopeless this month, and this is just generally, this is a message maybe one or two or a hundred of you need to hear. Um, you're just feeling like a little bit hopeless and you know like what you had hoped for is just not going to come true and so you're not bothering to manifest that anymore. Um, because it's like what you wanted, maybe you're realizing that you were trying to force something that just ultimately um, wasn't supposed to happen yet or wasn't supposed to happen at all. And so like the more you try to push it, the more you feel hurt, and you just don't want to feel hurt anymore, so you're just kind of like giving up, you know, like you're throwing your hands in the air, waving that white flag, like, ugh, okay, something different. Um, but then some of you are not doing that, you know, like you might be feeling hopeless about it, but maybe not giving up entirely. Um, so what's the advice on this, whatever this is about? It's like, you probably, oh, this is hard because the card just flipped as I was going to say it. Um, this is a 50-50 split. Some of you are not going to feel like you're going to win at this situation at all. Others of you, it's just about time passing and you'll get there. Sorry. Hopefully, uh, wherever this resonates, you know, it'll become clearer for you as the reading goes on. So we're going to start with your home life. What's going on at home? Um, this could be like your physical home or the people that you live with, roommates, stuff like that. Um, that's secure. Okay, you're feeling confident about that, like you're making good decisions, like you're wise, you're smart, like financially you've made good plans for all of that, like you've invested well, kind of king of the castle, like, you know, you're in charge, everything's great. Uh, what else for home life? Um, now this could be the same, this could be if you're not feeling that way, you might feel this way, or you could feel a combination of both because that is about your confidence, but then um, this is more about your emotions, okay? This is saying that you're, you may be focusing more on the lack, on things that you don't have, on things that make you sad and kind of throwing yourself a pity party, right? Um, instead of focusing on the things that are good, the things that you do have. Now, that's something that you need to change because you could lose the things that you actually do have if you're not expressing gratitude for those. So a good time to create a gratitude journal. Basically what this one's saying here is if you're able to do that, if you're able to focus on the things that are good, you're going to draw more of it into your life. The star card here, I always talk about, you know, each of these stars, it kind of reminds me of the nine of cups where that's the wish card. You know, each of these stars are little wishes that you made that you know, either came true or they're coming true, but they culminate into this even bigger star, which is like bigger blessings than you even thought of, that you have even anticipated coming for you. So that's really, really fantastic. You know, it's like, I didn't even know that I could have something so wonderful. That's what this is about. So really express gratitude and focus on that. Sorry, I'm dropping cards on the floor. Now, for those of you who are wondering about your close friendships, 
and you know maybe family around you what's going on for September 3rd through October 3rd not giving into temptation um, and you know just keeping your I'm so sorry about those notifications somebody's got to STFU right <laughs> um, okay so some of you are feeling like maybe some of your relationships are bad for you you know like Sometimes people have frenemies, things like that, and it's like you can leave the situation, but you don't for some reason because maybe there's something that you get out of the relationship. It could be, you know, if you're a tween, um, popularity, or same thing at work even. You know, it could be like, gosh, well, this person is the person you want to be friends with because you don't want to be their enemy, something like that. So you can walk away from it, um, but maybe you don't. <laughs> And then um, for others of you, this could be just like generally in your family. This could be your circumstances, like in regards to your family. This could be like, gosh, I want to move out of my mom's basement, but in a certain way, like I feel kind of stuck here because she needs my help sometimes or yeah, it could be anything like that. It's just like being tied to a situation um, that you don't have to be because something about it makes you unhappy, but you choose to stay anyway. So anyway, that's just saying, you know, you get to make your own choices on this. What else for family and close friendships? Same thing, same thing. So yeah, maybe some of you just have friends that are um, bad influences. Like, remember how we were talking about temptation? So maybe you have a friend who is like, hey, um, come out with me. I'm not going to make you drink, something like that. And then when you're out there, they're like, well, you're you're ruining all the fun. Just do these shots, whatever, like peer pressure kind of stuff. Um, and this is saying, you know, you don't have to give in to temptation, but at the same time, in a certain way you do because otherwise they stop inviting you places, right? Like, oh, we don't want to go to happy hour with Sally because she's like a fucking downer. She never has any fun, that sort of thing. What's going on for you in regards to your career and your money stuff? Whoa. Okay, so you've got a challenge here. And the challenge is really to feel emotionally fulfilled by your career at this point in time or your financial situation. But it's just saying, you know, really work on your confidence. Um, try to be more creative and, like, almost, like, try to make work more silly, try to make it more fun. And just fake happiness there until it becomes real. You know, that whole fake it till you make it thing, that's going to bring you more joy and happiness in the workplace. Um, and it'll also bring you more feelings of security. It'll potentially bring you more money, too. It'll get you into a better financial place. So um, you've got to just be, oh, look at that, twice. <laughs> so it's reiterating the point. You really just have to be um, very confident that you're doing the right thing and that, you know, following your creative instincts is good like it's okay to be silly and it's not saying like be unprofessional but you don't have to be like stuffy you know like it's okay to be silly and fun and not unprofessional to the maximum extreme but to joke around things like that now what is going on for you in regards to your love life um, and I didn't declare a single or a coupled yet. This is just kind of a general thing for all Scorpios. Maybe the worst is not yet behind you. Sorry. Sucks. But that's how we learn, you know? That's how we decide what it is that we really want and attract that into our life is by, you know, you could kiss a lot of toads before you catch a frog that becomes a prince. Okay. So for those of you who are single Scorpios, you have to get more rest. You have to get more sleep. And... You also have to let other people help you. Like, there's some element, and this might have to do with, like, your home life or your work. Um, you might want to be controlling things too much because maybe you don't trust other people to do things right. It's like, I don't want you to do the dishes because you're not even going to get them clean. And then you did all that for no reason. And then you want me to praise you for that. And I have to sit here and dig them all out of the cabinet and re redo them, you know. <laughs> what this is saying is stop being a bitch. Um, you don't have to. You know, just, like, let people help you because if you don't let people help you, like, even with stupid stuff, like, when you're walking, you know, out of the grocery store and um, somebody says, oh, let me help you carry that bag or let me open the door for you when you're coming into a building and you're like, no, I got it. You're saying that because you don't want to burden them, you know, by having them help you, but at the same time, and because you want to feel independent and in control, <laughs> but... um 
you know, they wouldn't ask if they wanted, didn't want to do it. And if you're not taking them up on it, then you're not honoring them. You know, some people really need to, they derive their self-worth by, you know, what they do for other people, how they make other people feel and their capacity to help and stuff like that. So like you're actually helping them by letting them help you. So take advantage of those things. Um, so for those of you who are calling yourself single and you're watching this part of the video, but you know, like you're dating different people, thing is, is that you probably don't have the same end goal in mind. So whether it's you who just wants a fuck buddy or whether it's them and, you know, like one of you wants like long-term commitment and marriage and kids and all that stuff, it's like you just don't want the same things and the sooner you recognize that, like the sooner you can just move on. Um, but a lot of you are not leaving anyway because it's like you don't want to. Maybe there's something good about the relationship. Maybe being um, dating somebody is better than feeling lonely and being home. Or, you know, maybe they're, the sex is really good, something like that. But it says that's not fair. That's not fair to you, and that's not fair to other people. So really, you have to just, like, have those conversations. And when you realize that you're not on the same page, that you don't want the same things, and, you know, that you don't think you'll ever want the same things, that it's probably just time to, like, start dating other people instead. So you find someone more compatible. Yeah, because what this is saying is that it wasn't going to go – it's not going to go anywhere anyway. So, like, what do you want to waste your time there for? Um, another challenge just flew out of here. Oh, so this is cute. Um, but it is challenging. <laughs> What it's saying, sorry, my alarm clock's going off. Okay, what it's saying is that you're challenged to um, really trust in God, the universe, Allah, um, that the right thing is coming for you to have that blind faith that you're just going to meet the right person at the right time. It's divine timing. Like everybody has to go through different lessons in their life before they meet their person the person they're supposed to be with. And so maybe you've already gone through all of your karmic battles and you've learned everything that you needed to learn, but maybe your partner who is out there somewhere, they haven't yet, or vice versa. So it, it's challenging to have blind faith that someone is coming for you, but you just have to believe that so that they do. So that they do. Um, and then something about try not to do, try to do more free activities. Like try, um, no, 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 I'm reading this backwards. Hold on. This is, don't be afraid to spend money when um, you're going out on dates and stuff, okay? Like, like don't be bringing, like, a group on to your first date because people aren't going to like you if you do that. <laughs> but you can do it if you're confident and silly about it. For example, somebody just told me... Um, Confidence is going to get you really far this month in regards to relationships and like unsingling yourself. Somebody just told me the other day about a friend that they had that would, um, the way that he would pick up chicks in a bar was that he would say, um, hey, do you want to see a picture of my niece? And then the girl would say, yeah, sure, of course. And then he would show her a dick pic, you know, just one he had in his front, in his phone. And he'd be like, oh, whoops. But, you know, what is that saying? Like, if you can get a girl to laugh, there's a 90% chance you can fuck her. So, what I'm saying about that is, like, if you have to bring a group on on a date, <laughs> it's okay. Um, just be confident. Like, no matter what you're doing, no matter what the situation is, um, just really feel confident this month and have that blind faith and you can attract good things to your life, okay? Um, but also that element of being fair to people. Um yeah, so this is coming out just saying a lot of you aren't feeling particularly confident in the world of dating at this time. So just try really hard. You know, be silly, be fun, be light, adventurous, try new things. Okay, so for those of you who are Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, who are um, coupled, what's going on for you, you here? There's this challenging energy going on, and it's like, you don't know where to apply your focus. You don't know wh what to put your heart into. And there's so many options that, you know, you're confusing yourself as getting cloudy. Now, this could be, um, should I spend more time working? Should I spend more time showing romance to my partner? Should I sh spend more time with my kids? Um, you know, whatever. But that's really, really challenging for you right now to narrow that down. Like, you don't, you're overwhelmed. You don't even know where to start. Um... And it's just saying you're going to have to wait an extra bit of time, a little bit longer than anticipated for things to change, like, on the day-to-day -day level. And that's kind of a bummer, right? Um, but 
ultimately, though, it's like the changes that you had to go through, like in your relationship, I feel like you went through those more like last month or the month before. There was a lot of crazy shit going on. Um, there was like some weird universal energy where a lot of people were forced to close doors and step through new ones. And it's saying, you know, the changes that you have now are not as big. Um, another challenge here. More about this confidence thing and new ideas. It's it's challenging to get excited about new adventures. You know, change is hard. What you have to do is you just have to get excited about it and put a literal feather in your cap. You see that? <laughs> and just, you know, have fun. Have fun this month, Scorpio. That's kind of your deal. Um, some of you are just spending, like, a huge amount of time focusing on details. Um, you're working hard, but, like, you're paying really, really close attention to the details, and there's something about that that you like. Um, but if you're doing that in your relationship and you're nitpicking, that's fucked up, yo. Um, but a lot of you, it's more for like a home move type of situation. And maybe that's the change that's going on. Maybe you signed the lease last month and now you're actually moving. Um, and this is going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So, you know, whatever this big change is, it's actually a really good thing. And it's not as hard as you think, but it will make you maybe feel a little bit, um, like, a little bit unconfident, you know, like you really need what you need to do this month, like in your coupled relationships. It's not like don't pay attention to your partner. Don't focus on them. But you really, really, really need to focus on you and um, pamper yourself a little bit. Like go get a massage. Oh, my gosh. These people will not shut up. Okay. Yeah. So focus on you. Pamper yourself. And then you have the same card again. Um, saying to just trust, trust God, the universe, Allah, that like everything is for your highest good, that you're going to be happy, be enthusiastic and just like take those leaps of blind faith and, and trust that everything is working out the way that it's supposed to. So if you'd like a personal reading, you can click in the description box below and I'm happy to do that for you. Honored to do it. Um, otherwise, see you soon. Bye. Mwah.